Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Allegro. Thank you so much for coming back to watch it another video. And if you are new here, welcome. Thank you for joining our YouTube family. And do take a moment to subscribe to the channel and also click on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. And also, if you like this video at the end, please do like, share, and comment in the comment section. I would love to hear your thoughts and read your thoughts. So today, I wanted to share with you guys some of my favorite fragrances. I have gotten so many questions on social media especially on my Instagram when I post my outfits of the day um, and it's such a pity that we don't step out as much anymore um, because of the lockdown but even when I'm home I love to smell good I have a scent for day and night time so I thought I would share some of my favorite fragrances with you guys and also I would love to hear what are some of your favorite fragrances what you've used before what you liked, what you didn't like and um, yeah so I will start first and foremost with sunflowers this one was a gift from um, elizabeth arden it's called sunlit um, showers and i absolutely love this it's really good um, for when i come from like a workout if i do a quick 15 30 minute workout just to freshen up i love using this of course you do need to shower you do need to you know freshen up before putting this on but i absolutely love it haven't used it as much as you can tell but i've used it a couple of times and it's one of my favorite just refreshing scent it's not something Something that I would put on for you know the entire day or if I'm stepping out in the evening it's definitely a daytime um, fragrance but I absolutely love it and thank you to Elizabeth Arden this is not sponsored at all they sent me these fragrances a couple of years ago but I thought it's worth a mention and another one from Elizabeth Arden is um, the green tea pomegranate I absolutely love 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 the scent um, it's just it's different I've never I'm trying to open this oh a little too hard I've never had um, a pomegranate um, scent before and this is absolutely it's so refreshing it's so fruity also and I'm not always a fan of um, fruity scents um, I don't like walking around smelling like fruits you know um, whether it's citrusy oranges and lemons and, and all that but once in a while you come across a scent that's really really lovely and this is one of them and I also have to mention I mean I would not be doing this video justice and you guys justice if I did not mention my favorite favorite Coco Chanel um mademoiselle i absolutely love mademoiselle i have quite a number another bottle is actually quite empty but mademoiselle the name speaks for itself classy lady who is on the move who's got her life together she knows what she wants she looks the part she smells the part too and i absolutely love it that's my definition of mademoiselle by the way um but i absolutely love love chanel um you know from their bags i have a couple to their clothing their shoes their fragrances their lotions i just love what the brand represents and i absolutely love their packaging so that my boxes are way up high um i would show you the packaging it's the type of packaging that you keep you do not throw away Chanel um, packaging it is just amazing um, and I love 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 the brand and still on Chanel oh I also have the Mademoiselle um, in the the travel um, size and I love how the bottle just kind of see that it just kind of twists spray and close so I got this at um, the Chanel store in Rodea Drive in um, LA a couple of years ago when I went there for a visit and i absolutely loved it loved the packaging loved the shopping experience there it's it's amazing i could go on and on about chanel um and my last well actually my second last chanel perfume that i want to highlight is um gabrielle i love this um non-intense version i know they have an intense version now that just came out um a couple of months back or so um but i love this one the first one that came out and it's it's my night time i do use it sometimes during the day but i think it's more fitting for night time when i'm going out for dinners um a movie night stepping out with friends for some drinks this is absolutely a favorite for my nighttime um sense and then another favorite for nighttime which is a Chanel classic is Chanel number no. five. You cannot go wrong um, with this classic. It's such a vintage. Um, at first, I didn't really like the scent because I thought it was a little too 
vintage you know it was a little too mature way mature than my age but i got to just love it you know um and i i now kind of just appreciate the scent and it's again one of my favorites for nighttime and still on nighttime fragrances gucci guilty you cannot go wrong with gucci guilty they also have an intense version um and also the men's um edition also of the gucci guilty i absolutely love it i started using gucci guilty when i was in university i think it was in my second year um i went to an event um when i was still you know heavily blogging on my on my blog blog site or get entertainment and i was invited to an event and um, they gave us gift packs when we were leaving and we got little samples and i loved it since then when the sample finished i was like you know what i need to get that scent and i got it i've been using it ever since i think i'm on my fifth or sixth bottle i don't know but i always have it in my collection it's one of those that i really really like and then i've got here uh dkny stories this was a gift i absolutely love it it's also very refreshing yeah it brings back a lot of memories and i love how scents um do that you know when you are either at a mall or in a restaurant or just somewhere out and someone passes by with a certain scent that triggers a memory i know i'm not the only one um whether it's you know a memory of friends or a memory of your childhood just the scent will trigger um that memory and i always turn around and like hang on you smell like so and so that person that just passed me smells like this and that you know um and i absolutely absolutely love the stories from DKNY. I have been using it as you can see. Um, it's quite lovely. I use it a lot for my daytime. Um, and then I've got here, let me highlight this no name brand. Um, I should ask my mom when she bought it but I, I have absolutely no idea. And I think this bottle for me is it's more than just about the perfume it really represents the relationship that i have with my mother and how she introduced me to being um you know a, a young lady who loves and takes care of herself starting from how she smells how she looks how she presents herself out to the world and first and foremost to herself when you leave the house how do you look do you love the way you look do you love the way you smell do you love how your hair looks and so on so i remember i was um in matric um i was 18 going on 19 and about to just step into the big world and go to university and my mom gifted me this bottle I don't know where she bought it from doesn't have a name um, and I just kept it she probably just got it from someone who was selling perfumes but what I love about it is the memories that um you know it just triggers and it brings back you know just how my mom from that young age wanted me to start being presentable to the world um, and she invested in just getting me this bottle I do love the little bottle it's it's quite cute um, not really a fan of the scent itself I've used it a couple of times I think in my earlier um, days when I was in university but I stopped using it and I want to keep it um, just as like a souvenir you know so I love that and then I've also got here a Zara perfume turquoise aqua absolutely love it as you can see i'm almost out but it is so refreshing it's oh it's amazing guys um i'm not a fan of zara perfumes or let me say i was not a fan of them before i came across this a couple of years ago and um i was shopping at zara and then i saw it i was like let me just try out a few and this one caught you know my attention i love it it's subtle it's not too much in your face i hate fragrances that um kind of like or maybe when people overdo it and they spray so much that when they pass by you actually want to cough you know so this is very nice this is very subtle um it's definitely my go-to daytime um fragrance and it it was literally i think under 200 rand if not under 300 rand i cannot remember the exact price it was a number of years ago um but again i just want to highlight you do not need to break the bank in order to look good feel good smell good and so on you know you don't need to go to designer brands alone your Gucci's, your Chanel's, DKNY's and so on um, they are you know um, brands such as your Zara's and other brands out there that just smell as amazing and you will feel just as good um, it doesn't have to be a designer brand and if you do hear some noises in the background it's my son playing with his cars and I think dinosaurs um, but yes guys and last but not least I just want to highlight another no-name um, brand here which is my own perfume um, I got 
the opportunity to actually make this perfume when I went to a Unilever event um, in Durban um, uh, two or three years ago and we were invited to the Lux station where we got to make our own Lux fragrances and just um, you know find out more about how Lux put together their amazing scents for all our bath um, lotions and bath soaps and so on so I made this one um, and it smells so good and I usually um, I use it as a room um, spray so for my bedroom, for my bathroom, it smells really amazing. It's a mix of, I would say, some vanilla and lavender. So it's definitely um, on the floral side, um, on the daytime side, and I absolutely, mm, it smells amazing. Let me just spray some on this room. <laughs> love it um, and it was a great experience you just kind of like making your own scent and see what goes into that um, so I love the experience so those are some of my favorite um, perfumes guys let me know what your thoughts are let me know what your favorites are share down in the comment section I would love to read more about you know what you guys love and again you do not need to break the bank you do not need to go for high-end perfumes just so that you can smell good trust me if you have a good fragrance that can even go from day to night that's great and if you can go from maybe um, if you can go for two cents maybe for your daytime one and then also something that you transition into for your nighttime activities if you're going out for you know um, drinks or dinners with friends or you're stepping out on a special occasion then you know that that is my go-to um, so you don't need to have a collection of 20 30 fragrances if you don't want to it's really just personal preference and um, again do not break the bank as you know I don't believe in just because you have the money you need to waste it save your coins be smart about your spending and um, still look the part so that is it for today's video thank you so much for watching and um, don't forget to subscribe and I'll chat to you guys in the next video. Bye for now.